Welcome everyone, this is Andres Restart, and this will be my final theory for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom before it comes out. Now, I understand there are leaks out there. I haven't really seen the leaks. I've seen a couple things here and there. Being a YouTuber, there are comments I've seen. I'm not sure what's totally accurate or not. I have some idea of the beginning of the game, but these leaks are not at all relevant to this theory. And I will not be talking about leaks in this video, so please avoid talking about them in the comments as well, because I don't want to be spoiled anymore, and I'm sure a lot of you watching don't want to be spoiled either. That said, I wasn't even sure I was going to make this video, because we're so close to release for Tears of the Kingdom, a lot of theories are going to be dispelled, and I put out theories for fun. Some might be right, some might be wrong. But when I was working on yesterday's video about everything we need to know about Tears of the Kingdom before we play it, I saw something in a cutscene for Breath of the Wild that added just a little bit more evidence to this final theory I have. So what is this final theory? It's about the voices in Tears of the Kingdom. And that's what we're talking about today. Before we jump into things though, let me point out that we are aiming to hit 25,000 subscribers by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out on May 12th. We're a few hundred away, we're a few days away, it's coming close, we might make it by the skin of our teeth, I am not sure. So if you do enjoy my content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, because then we might just squeak in and make it. Anyways, this is a Sunday night, this is going to be a quickly edited video, I just want to get my thoughts out there. The legs of this video is going to be like three and a half, four days at best. But it's an idea that I think is fascinating. So what do I mean by the voices in Tears of the Kingdom? Well, let's go back to a theory video I made months ago when we were speculating on what the name for Tears of the Kingdom would be. This is before we even knew about the name. And the biggest point of evidence for me sort of thinking what the name might be was from the initial teaser trailer. And from what we got from the initial teaser trailer, I actually felt like we came fairly close to what the title would be for Tears of the Kingdom. So basically, in the teaser trailer, there are these voices, and when you change around the footage, when you reverse it, you can hear these voices saying, help us, help us. So there are these voices saying, help us. It could just be our mind playing tricks on us. I understand that. But it was this core piece of evidence that was the foundation for a theory video that led me in the right direction for predicting something to the effect of what the name would be. I was not right, but I believe I was close. Ultimately, I was talking about there being a suffering people, a tribe, a large group of people in Hyrule, perhaps the kingdom, and it was sad, it was miserable. They were asking for help, a lost people. So lost, sad, tears, a large group of people, a tribe of Hyrule, kingdom, Tears of the Kingdom, and we always thought it would have of the. That, that part seemed pretty clear to me just because it would be a sequel to Breath of the Wild, so you want to have a similar naming scheme there. So we weren't spot on, but we were close. And the reason I say this is because it makes me think that there might be something to this idea of these voices saying, help us, maybe it is true, maybe there is something there, because it did lead us in the direction of getting the name right. Well, not exactly right, but kind of close. Well, we've heard these voices throughout the different trailers. We can't quite make out what they're saying all the time. It's just kind of like the Tears of the Kingdom theme. But in the final big official trailer, trailer number three, as Nintendo calls it, even though there's a whole bunch of other trailers, but the big one that they recently had a live stream for, there's a few parts in the trailer where they say, the future. Of course, this could be another one of those scenarios where our minds are playing tricks on us. I didn't hear it at first, but when it was brought to my attention, I couldn't unhear it. Is there something there? What do they mean by the future? It's hard to say. There's crazy amounts of technology seen in both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. We theorize that there might be something tied to time travel. Maybe that's why Zelda is not apparent throughout the course of Tears of the Kingdom from what we've seen in the trailers. She does have the recall tier, which is also the ability that Link gets recall, and also in Breath of the Wild, in order to see the memories, you would recall the memories. That was the prompt that would come up. So there could be something tying to time here in some way. I'm not sure. 
but I do think there's something to these voices. So the discovery I made recently is from Breath of the Wild, a cutscene in Breath of the Wild, when Zelda is praying to the goddess to try and obtain her powers. And there's a line where she says, Grandmother heard them, the voices from the spirit realm. And it was at this moment that I saw this yesterday early in the day when I was adding B-roll for my video that I was like, oh, maybe I should talk about this. There might be something to this idea. If we thought there were voices throughout the different footage, even if we were off about what they've been saying because our minds play tricks on us, there is a chorus of some kind. There is a group of people we hear throughout the trailers. And there's something being said. And here in Breath of the Wild, they talk about there being voices from the spirit realm. It really does make me wonder, especially when you consider that the green swirls, the green-like energy, it's almost like a bluish kind of green, it's not like a total green. It somewhat resembles the green-like flames we've seen around the ghosts in Breath of the Wild. And actually, in a prior trailer for Cheese of the Kingdom, trailer number two, the one that showed during the February Direct, there were flames in one of these underground areas that were very much like the flames we saw from the ghosts in Breath of the Wild. So there could be lost souls and, or spirits throughout Tears of the Kingdom. Perhaps they are the voices in the trailers. Perhaps they are the voices in Tears of the Kingdom. Now, who are these voices? What is the relevance to the story? Well, why would the voices be saying help us? Again, I know it may not be what they're actually saying, but what if they are? Well, there is this incredible evil that Link and Zelda are dealing with. Ganondorf. Something that has survived for thousands upon thousands of years. And its literal hatred takes on a physical form. And just what emanates from its chest became the Calamity Ganon, and now they're dealing with the very source. Perhaps there are a lot of lost souls from the Demon King, who potentially may be coming from the underground, and there may be something this idea of lost souls in this underworld, this underground led by the Demon King. So maybe the voices in Tears of the Kingdom are also tied to the Tears of the Kingdom, a lost, sad people. Maybe they're tied to the Zonai. The Zonai, we know they are in Tears of the Kingdom. That's been confirmed because we've seen the Zonai charges from the autumn drops of the constructs. All of the ruins and architecture we're seeing are Zonai related. And the Zone, from what we understand them of Breath of the Wild, are a magic-wielding people that disappeared mysteriously long ago. What if Ganondorf is tied to this? What if there's a lot of trapped, deceased souls, or not even dead necessarily, but trapped souls in some way, and they are the voices of the kingdom? That's the theory. There's a lost, trapped people. Maybe they're the Zonai. Maybe they tie to the Tears of the Kingdom. And Ganondorf, the Demon King is responsible for these lost souls in his underground underworld. I think there's something to this idea. And maybe when they're saying the future, that trailer, maybe it's tied to the Zonai's incredible technology. Maybe it's also tied to time travel in some way. Maybe they're all connected. But those are just kind of my cobble of ideas that I've put together in this last minute, short, quickly edited little discussion theory video days before the release for Tears of the Kingdom. I understand this video doesn't have a lot of legs, but maybe I'll be right. Or maybe I will be wrong. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited for Tears of the Kingdom? Do you think there's something to this idea? Do you have anything else to add? Let me know. This is Andres Restart. Thank you so much for listening and watching, and I will see you all really soon. Take care.